Welcome to the new Microsoft Teams. Now faster and more user-friendly, Microsoft included quick group switching and improved meeting access. So let's explore all the new features. I'm now at the new Microsoft Teams sign-in screen. It's got a playful and fun design. On the left, I can see my accounts and there is an option to create a new one. There is even a new label next to the Teams icon in your app launcher. I'm going to select an account and show you how quickly Teams starts up now. Notice the fresh Teams logo as it launches. It's twice as fast as before, and there we are, right inside Teams, and it loaded really quickly. If I look around, I find all my Teams and other info. The first thing you'll see is that the design is much cleaner. It automatically uses the Windows 11 system settings, so if your system is set to a light thing, Teams will match that. You can also switch to light mode, dark mode or the classic mode with a dark blue top. Another thing to notice is a new channels area on the right side. This part shows you all the details about a channel, like who's in it, a description and how to manage or get notifications for the channel. It's open by default. If you want to hide it, just click on Close Channel Details at the top right corner. Also, now you can choose where to see new posts in channel. By clicking on the three dots menu, you can select to have new posts appear at the top of the page, like this. Or you can move them back to the bottom, which is where they used to be. You'll also notice a small three-dot menu with some useful options. There is a new feature to mark all as read, which is handy. You can manage your team's check pending invites and view analytics. The layout for some of these options has been changed. Plus, there is a small plus button. Click here if you want to create a new team or join an existing one. If you prefer the old version of Teams, there is a switch in the upper left corner under New Teams. You can toggle this switch to go back to what we now call Microsoft Teams Classic. I'll show you how I can switch back to the new Teams quickly using the same switch. When you click to change channels, it happens much quicker than before, making everything feel more responsive. Now let's see some updated settings in the upper right corner. If you click on my name, you'll see options for setting your availability. You can choose your work location like office or remote and set a status message. These options are similar to what we had before, but they've been slightly different. You can also add different accounts right here. This new version allows you to switch between multiple tenants easily, letting you use updates and notifications from other tenants in all in one place. This is a significant improvement. Another update is a three-dot menu where you find the revised settings. When you click on settings, you'll see that they now open in a full screen view. This includes all sorts of settings like how content opens and starting chats. Now I'm going to take a look at the appearance and accessibility section. People often like to change the theme, so let's look at that. Right now it's set to follow the operating system theme. Since I'm using Windows 11, it's showing the light mode. But you can switch to classic for the traditional blue bar at the top or choose dark or light modes independently. I'll set it back to follow the operating system theme. you also find other familiar options here like chat density and sign language view along with settings for captions and devices like noise suppression for calls. Basically, all the settings are organized in this one place. If I click on Teams now, it will take me out of the settings. The meeting section in Teams has also been updated nicely. When I click Join, you'll see that the layout is similar to the main Teams window, but it's brighter and cleaner. I'll join the meeting now and you'll notice how quickly I get in. Microsoft made it so that joining meetings is now twice as fast as before. So meetings not only look better, but are also quicker to join. These updates really help save time. There's another great feature. You can open any conversation in a separate window. I'll just click the three-dot menu on a conversation and select Open Conversation in a new window. Now the conversation is in its own window, allowing me to focus solely on this chat and respond without distractions. One of the most appreciated updates is how Teams now handles notifications from different tenants. If you're part of teams in multiple organizations, it used to be hard to keep track of notifications from each one without constantly switching between them. But now you can see all your notifications in one place. 
Let me show you an example. Once I'm logged into this other tenant, you'll notice an activity bell icon in the upper right corner with a number indicating new notifications. When I hover over it, it says activity in your other accounts and organizations. This means I'm getting updates from a different tenant. If I click on this, it takes me straight to the other tenant where I can see their notifications. The activity bell shows them clearly on the left. This makes moving between different organization teams' account much faster. The revamped Microsoft Teams, with its enhanced speed, streamline interface and multi-tenant notification aggregation, offers companies a more efficient and cohesive platform for collaborations across diverse and extensive teams. It's an ideal platform for your business. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates, Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you can get all the latest videos that we post. See you in the next videos!